Hey guys, you asked me a lot to do this and I decided to give it a go finally. So I'm gonna review your sketches, your designs. Today I already picked three sketches from three different guys and I will start with them. This is the first episode of review sessions and I'm planning to do this once in a month or some kind of regular basis. So all you need to do to participate is you just send me your sketches or your renders, your works, all the project or just a single sketch. It doesn't matter. Also your level doesn't matter. Today also I picked three different levels from three different persons and we will see very soon. So you can be beginner, you can be just hobbyist, you can be already in masters, you can be an intern in a car design studio. I mean, you can even be a professional car designer, but I don't think you will need my feedback as you already got the job and as you're a car designer, obviously. So I wanna help you more to get the job or get the internship or improve your portfolio and your skills or your approach. So send your works to this email address written here and please write a little bit description about yourself, something like your age or where are you from, your name, of course. So give me a very little short introduction and also attach your works and send it to this email. All right, let's start with the first one here. This sketch is done from a guy called Bert Kaplan in 2010. So this is actually me. I did this sketch in 2010, like 11 years ago. And first I want to start with this one. And as you can already see here, there's a little hint that you will see sketches from 2015 of Bert Kaplan and 2017 of Bert Kaplan. Because to start this review thing, I needed some sketches from past and I decided to do first with my own stuff from past. So this can also encourage you, I believe, to send your stuff because it's really not easy to send your stuff and get feedback, especially in public place. But it's really good for improving yourself. I really see the value because I did it for years. I did those sketches. I did hundreds of sketches and I send it to many designers. You don't always get long answers from other designers, but even one person answers you, one person, one professional gives you feedback on your work. Even like five minutes of feedback, it's really valuable because it can really teach you something that you would struggle if you didn't have the feedback yourself for, I don't know, even months or even years maybe. So let's start. Again, as I said, this is 2010 sketch of mine. As I see, I tried to make a Mercedes sketch here. I will talk to the back, like, back, I see that you tried to do a Mercedes. It's cool, but I see very big proportional mistakes, honestly. So let's just control T and flip the image to see some mistakes in a more clean way, clear way. First of all, it looks a little bit fat in my opinion. Overall, the design, it looks like a big fish, like bubbly, bubbly, wobbly, I don't know and you have the wheels and you have like very little i don't know if it's a muscle or i don't know why do we have an air intake here i did a video before like don't put random air intakes why to put air intakes there should be always a reason to do that so let, let's start with the proportions maybe here i see that you have a very short front overhang you have a very stretched cabin and the reason I said it feels fat is there's no tension on this curve. It's like super flat and super stretched. If you add tension on anywhere in this curve, uh, somewhere like this, like a breaking point, it would add a little bit more agile feeling, a little bit more fit feeling to this car. So that would be the first thing I can say. And overall, when I look at the body, I actually started directly looking at the body, but because I see a lot of lines, like you have lines here you have another line here like i don't even know if it's an air outlet or what here again an undefined and super regular and weak muscles these muscles are really weak and on the front first of all if this is a mercedes why it is a mercedes just because of the logo if i just erase the logo is it still a mercedes or not you need to think about this all the time when you're sketching something when you're designing something and I would say it really depends on what you try to sketch also the proportions effects because to me first it feels like I'm not even sure but maybe four person can sit inside but then why do we have this big place here maybe this wheel can come to the front a little bit and a little bit bigger and this wheel can also get a little bit stronger like this and on the front 
to me it gives the message of an electric car i don't know i in 2010 probably you were not thinking about this you probably tried to make some kind of a sedan but if i consider it as an electric vehicle which doesn't have a big combustion engine here and you can like have short overhang very sleek stretched nose here then it might actually work but if you were planning to make a sedan i also made a video last week which was like the proportions of a sedan like one two three and a little bit more of the wheels the wheelbase and then you have the height of the car it would be more like a sedan proportions here what you have is more like a stretched fat volume coming this way and here also it's getting super low this grill is very low it's normally like a bumper area of the vehicle and then we would have maybe the grill and then the headlights it would be more like this but you put it very low so it gives me also the feeling of electric maybe that's why so these are the first things i would say maybe let's make those red lines a bit more blacked out and let's make the opacity of the original sketch a bit lower and i will just fix not fix but i will just clean a little bit what we were doing here so i'm just making the wheels a bit stronger a bit more visible and i will erase this part okay you put like five spokes going to the center i will also put very quickly just to give the idea that we have the rim there and here we can start to think about the volumes like let's say okay if this is your design we can keep this long stretched volume here and on the back we can have maybe something different like that i don't know if i'm changing too much your design let's put the original one next to it somewhere ah okay i see because on this photo you took in 2010 we don't see the back of the sketch i have no idea what's going on there that's why i just decided to put it down like this another thing here i see that you put these muscles but again rather than those muscles we can keep it just like a surface area because you don't have enough space on this design to create another muscle here it would be very tight everything would be really um, getting closer to each other and making it a bit too crowded so i would say let's put the logo here like that and i'm putting something similar to your headlights so this looks as you see a bit more getting more clean and getting more logical somehow so I create I extend this shoulder line here and if you still want to keep like design elements as you did here like this one you can still do it but maybe in a more minimal more modern way rather than creating like a cut here you can make a surface treatment like the section can be like going inside here going out here and going down a little bit so with this section line we can see what's going on there i'm putting the wheels thickness to the ground because the wheels should be touching to the ground the car should have a shadow to have a nice stance on the sketch So as you see this was the original sketch and it became into more yet still it's giving the message if we compare with the original one here still it's similar it has similar face but in a more modern on a more clean way so i can say it has a potential and now we have it in a better balanced way another thing that i want to quickly mention about your sketch is i see that you decided to use some markers which is cool but it seems like you are learning and how old are you you were 17 when you did this sketch cool so for 17 years old it, it's not bad you have a potential i would say it's cool and with hard work you can do cool stuff yeah all right anyway so i would say you can add a little bit of line weight variations on your sketch like even on this quick sketch we did here 
I added like these are very lighter. This is more thicker area because I wanted to emphasize this area of the sketch. I wanted to make it darker to show my message in a more clean way. When you zoom out, you see you already see the volume and this wheels. So you see the proportions when it's further away. But in your sketch, maybe also because of the photo, it looks everything same importance and you are getting lost in the sketch. You don't see the real message immediately. I would suggest you to get my course, but in 2010, you didn't have this course. So I can understand it took a little bit time to improve, but, but for the others, I would suggest my course link in the description. All right, this was the first one. Let's go to the second one. I want to speed it up a little bit on this one. This is from, again, Bert Kaplan, but this time from 2015, as I see. Maybe he improved a little bit, but also on this one, I think you jumped into too much to the colors and I know it's fancy to put some uh, markers and stuff. It's good to try, but first focus on the main elements, the proportions and perspective. So here also, you jumped into Photoshop or maybe sketchbook on that time, I don't remember well, but while putting colors and stuff, don't forget the essence of the design and all this proportion and stuff. This one is an Alfa Romeo as I see, but it feels only this triangle maybe gives me the feeling of Alfa Romeo. Let's make it a little bit lower opacity. Only this gives me the message of Alfa Romeo, honestly, or <laughs> this uh, circular rims also. Maybe a little bit of language here, but it's like from old Alfa Romeos and actually many old Italian manufacturers had these big muscles. But rather than this, I'm not sure why this would be an Alfa Romeo. Again, it's an important thing. And another thing is again the proportions, because when I look at this image, I feel like it's very short. It feels very compact like an Alfa Romeo 4C maybe, but this A pillar is a little bit going maybe too forward. And the wheels, the ground clearance actually for a sports car, because it has a lot of message to be a compact coupe a sports car. But here I feel it's very high, so it's maybe like an off-road vehicle high. So this too doesn't work that well. I know exaggerating wheels is a nice thing. It makes the car sitting more on the floor, on the ground, but this one maybe is a bit too much. So let's try to balance it out a little bit. So I would first make the car a little bit lower and longer but in that case the perspective gets a little bit broken because this space feels too much for this angle to understand it always better you can always flip the image to see it better so let's do it like that i would crop the car like this your sketch and i would adjust this one here i would warp it a little bit inside like that let's see Control z and yeah it's getting better already in my opinion and then i would also i will get like the body color here and add a little bit of lower maybe something like a side skirt here maybe we would have some highlights coming to this area and it would continue to the front as well so maybe something like this will help us. The front splitter can also get a little bit lower. And again, as we always say, the stance of the car is very important. For this first, I'm gonna quickly paint this area to get rid of your nice wheels. Let's add some surface here like this very dirty of course and also on the back I want to add a little bit of body here because now we will add again the wheels for adding wheels if you are using Photoshop like this you can also take it from some photos some images but for now let's make very quick wheels I will just make them a little bit smaller than what you did But honestly, this muscle doesn't work for me. When I see it, it's huge, the wheel should be maybe something like here. It doesn't feel so good. I, I don't like this muscle somehow. It's a little bit wrong. Let's add a little bit of shadow behind to make it a bit smaller muscle. 
know, maybe this will work in a better way. We will see. And also the A pillar, I want to take it a little bit backwards like this. I think it's already getting better. But I would say I like kind of this flannel effect, uh, background reflection coming to the body color. It's kind of cool stuff you tried, I see, but uh, you need some more time to learn in a better way. So let's put some very basic wheels to see. Like I will put them like a block black graphics just to understand the proportions in a bit better way. As I see, this one can be a little bit more something like this. And I think the floor, the ground, is also a little bit confusing in this sketch. And what I mean by that is let's try to add a shadow, like totally black. Let's make it black out the ground to understand it better. Because the shadows and reflections are really important to understand the height of the car, the stance of the car and everything. So for now I'm gonna make it like this. And we can now erase this area. Okay. So now I think it already looks better. Like this area again shows your car is too high. But now we just brought it down. It like sits better to the ground now. And we can add a very quick, again, you can add the Alfa Romeo style, this iconic rims, it's fine. Okay, it's still too big, honestly. It's still a bit too much. So let's do it something like this. And also the rear one a little bit smaller. I mean, as I'm not doing it precisely, it's a quick review at the end. It also affects how it feels, but it's already better proportion-wise. I'll also clean a little bit this cat hole here. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I will add... You can always add a little bit of thickness here on this area, this wheel arch. It would also give a little bit more character and strength to the wheels. On this one, of course, it, it depends on your design also, of course. So now this muscle, as you see, is smaller, more agile muscle. And you need to... And it actually, the further muscle looks better anyway. But as I see, the light is here above the grill, so it has to be here. Yours is too down. So your light should come here. And we have a space here now, so it should go down and the splitter. So you need to adjust this area. And this beautiful triangle, we can keep it as it is. I'm putting the Y0 line. Y0 is the center line. I also put it down and I'm just putting some, emphasizing some critical elements, like uh, strong elements of this design. You have a huge air intake. I don't know if it's necessary, but let's show the surfaces of it in a better way. So here we can like, the rear wheel can go a little bit more outside from top view compared to the front one. And here we can, Give also a different design to the splitter. Okay, so I don't want to do further than this to change it more, but let's see what we did so far. I'm gonna quickly clean this one, cutting it from here. So this was your sketch from 2015 and if I turn it off and turn it on, you see that now you feel that this car was super high. And now it's sitting on the floor, sitting on the ground and the wheels were a bit huge. It was like going off-road kind of coupe, like Audi had a concept or was it uh, even a production? No, it was concept as I remember Audi in Nanook. Also, Italian design had a similar one actually. It's like a sports car, but it's okay to go on off-road, but not like an SUV of Lamborghini Urus or something. It was more like coupe sports car thing with the big wheels. This might be something like that, but 
if even if you consider then we would see different problems like splitters and stuff but anyway so this car was super high with huge tires and we made it more sitting on the floor with a better proportions better stance okay this was the second one and let's jump into the third one and here we see again Bear Kaplan this time from 2017 only four years ago I was doing my masters when I did this sketch I remember and I decided to make like a free time sketch myself and I did this Audi R8 so let's see if I just mirror it it's getting better by the way Kirk, congratulations as I see by years you are getting better it's a nice thing but if I need to give some comments I like this side and anyway, it looks really nice it, it, it's almost like a photo did you take a reference from a photo maybe yeah I think I remember I took an Audi R8 photo and then I traced some lines to get the proportions right but as I see on the back it looks a little bit awkward maybe it's because of this huge black area it looks a bit too flat that might be the reason so let's see what we can do about it I'm gonna just start sketching a little bit on it to understand what is wrong in a better way so this seems like the center line okay first of all on the design design wise everything is super parallel here and super straight like it's a huge black box there is nothing like automotive touch honestly it feels super flat and especially if you are doing an Audi R8 which is very sensual car I know it's it has this technical feeling but still an automobile which is which has not flat surfaces or flat flat lines totally and even if you consider this car even if you think about seeing this car on the road it would be super boring super flat everything and it would look just boring in my opinion and old and as the balance of graphics anyway this is too much black a little bit of body color and then black again and i don't think it works well so i would make this black graphics a little bit smaller even if you want to keep your design language your design that you tried here we can still at least make it smaller it feels a little bit retro even but we can do it like that or if you want to add a little bit of change on the angles we can add a little bit different graphic i don't know i'm just thinking while sketching it would add maybe a better approach and on the bottom i see that you put very tiny not tiny but very shy exhaust pipes here and here so why not to emphasize them a little bit bigger it's a sketch at the end and we can show what we like in a better a little bit exaggerated way and this would also add a little bit different graphics I would change the design a little bit I don't know something like this and going down here I know it's getting a little bit like typical automotive a uh, typical sports car rear bumper diffuser area but you can add your own design elements anyway so it can get a little bit better in my opinion with graphics wise i will show you in a minute what i mean by this we can keep the rest like this side is nice as i said we can adjust a little bit this shoulder a little bit more leaning this way i like what you did also with this black elements this additional maybe it's like an air outlet somehow it's kind of cool so let's mirror the image and let's just add some colors to these graphics I will make it 100% opacity create a new layer and add some colors on this sketch so we can say where was it here this graphic can we can still keep your light almost as it is but we will need to adjust it also a little bit and the dark ones can be more like this the bottom one the diffuser area so this already adds a little bit more balanced graphic here as you see we lifted up the back of the car so now i want to also quickly paint this area to redo your lights the lights are kind of interesting i'm not sure how much i like them but for sure it's something interesting so maybe we can even try to keep them as you did so i will get red and i will try to put something as you did just like two crossing things coming here like a infinity sign and then it goes to the straight 
Why I'm drawing it again? Because I wanted to center, put it on the center of this graphic here. So let's say it's something like this. And then we had the nice Audi logo here. This surface can also be like more positive surface to catch some highlights. This can be negative. And okay, we can keep this one a little bit flat, but we can always play around with different surfacing. Rather than only graphics, we need to take care of the volumes and the surfacing. So I'm gonna add a little bit shadow in this area very quickly. And also to this one. And then now we can add the exhaust pipes a little bit exaggerated. We can still keep similar to your design, which was like a rectangle, a little bit transformed like this. So we can still keep it as you want it. And we can put some diffuser here and some red going on here. It can be a light, it can be, I don't know what was your initial idea, but we can put it back. All right, so again, I don't want to spend much more time than this. The goal is to show what would I change now to make it look more balanced in my opinion. So there is no totally correct and wrong things in my opinion in design. Everyone can have different idea of what is good and what is bad. Let's put them side by side, not side by side. Here we go. So this is the difference. Again, as a summary, we just lifted up the back. The overall proportions was good because you use the photo as a reference. It's a good trick. You can use it sometimes, but using directly the photo as it is without changing the wheels or any lines, it makes the car sometimes a little bit too boring, a little bit too much copied from the photo, which is not a good thing all the time because on the sketches we want to emphasize it a little bit. Again, as we, do, as we did here, we emphasize this rear area because if you are sketching a car from the rear view, it means that you want to focus on this element. So we want to emphasize this part so we can exaggerate some elements on this area. So this was the first episode of reviewing your designs. In that case, it was my own sketches from past, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. If so, hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe me if you're interested in car design. And if you want to get review from me, as we said at the beginning, you can send your works to this email address. It can be a sketch, it can be a doodle, it can be a 3D model render, it can be the whole project, whatever you want to get review, just send to this email address and I will take a look at your works. So thank you for watching this episode and being with me here and I hope to see you on the next one. Well, look at that. This is 2010, which is actually not bad, it's bad. 2015 getting better still awkward proportions 2017 even if i use the photo as a reference still it's it has stakes so it's not easy you you need to still work more and back i mean today is 2000 i mean now it's 2021 and i hope maybe i will check this video after a couple of years and give feedback to the video itself and to the feedback that I give today, I can give another feedback to myself again. I hope I hope it was not a stupid sentence.